Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. In this lesson, we're going to get started with hands-on lab number six, settings and preferences. And in the first exercise, we're going to add an about page. And that seems simple and innocuous enough, right? But this is actually just the first step in adding some preference settings that the user can modify. So this will allow us to integrate with the Windows 8 settings charm in the next two lessons. We're also going to see how setting preferences can be maintained across multiple user sessions on different machines, which is awesome. So to implement a settings contract, our app needs to respond whenever the user clicks the settings charm in uh, the Windows 8 charm bar on the right. And to do that, we're going to need to add an event handler to the commands requested event inside of our app.xaml.cs file. We've done something similar to this already. So let's go ahead and start following the instructions here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is add an about command. And so we're going to do that by going to our app.xaml. And the first thing that it wants us to do is to make sure that we have the right using statements. So I'm going to copy those and just paste them down here. And then next it asks us to add the following field to the app class. All right, so we'll just put that near the top so we can easily find it here. Uh, we'll just put it on a, right ahead, uh, over the, um, the constructor. So this will give us a background using an ARGB. A is for alpha, or rather the amount of transparency. Then RGB is for red, green, blue, which is a common way to define colors numerically by mixing red, green, and blue light together. And then next up, it says add the following statements to the onLaunched method right after the statement that registers a handler for suggestions requested like we did in a previous lesson. So we're looking for onLaunched right after suggestions requested. So let's find onLaunched after suggestions requested. So right here. And so it looks like we're missing the on commands requested. I'll bet you we're going to do that in the very next. Yes, we are. So we're going to add this event handler. So let's just copy it and then place it right here, uh, right after on suggestions requested, which I have uh, rolled up. All right, and it's looking for this about user control. And we're going to add a new user control in just a moment. So it looks like we're actually going to do that in task number two. I think this note is worth reading, so make sure you read that. Uh, but let's go on and add a new item, and we're going to call this the about user control.xaml. So we're just going to right click, select add new item. And you can think of a user control somewhat like a smaller version of a page. You can actually uh, bring it into a page. Uh, to host it, but it's it's one or more controls and some code behind that you want to use in multiple places in your app, and you can kind of keep that functionality all bound up. It's not a full control. You will never see it in your toolbox, but it's a collection of controls and functionality that you want to reuse. So uh, here we're going to call this again. I forgot what I'm going to call it. The about user control. Okay. So real quick, let's just talk about this on commands requested. Basically here, we're handling the settings command. Uh, it adds the word about to our, to our settings page so that somebody can click it. And when somebody does click it, then what we want to do is add one of these settings flyouts. Now this is from the Callisto controls that we added uh, earlier. And so here you're setting the content to a new instance of this about user control. And then we're going to set the header and the background color and the header text uh, for the settings flyout. And the simple job of this flyout is just to, to basically appear as a, uh, a panel on the right hand side of the screen. Okay. And we do that again by calling the is open and that's all we're doing. And then once we have the about command and what will actually execute, so this handler, this anonymous method that will, that will create the settings flyout from the Callisto controls. Then in this last line, we add the new about command to the application commands. And this is what will allow our about menu option to appear in the settings page for our app. 
Okay, so inside of this new about user control, what we want to do is just create a simple, um, you know, title and then a little subtitle here with just a stack panel around some text blocks. And that's easy enough. So let's go ahead inside and get rid of the grid. We're going to put a stack panel. Remember I said that we could use either a grid or a stack panel. So we'll just get uh, Contoso Cookbook and the trial version. And then we're going to test our results. So let's see if this actually works now. And this should work on any page, unlike the app bar. If you'll recall, it only works on the item detail page. So we're just going to go here and I'm going to go in my lower right hand corner, go to settings and you can see now we get about. Uh, and so we click about and you can see this little fly out. And this is the color that we set as we were uh, creating the new instance of the settings fly out and the text. And uh, then also this is from our user control, Contoso Cookbook and trial version. So it's really easy to set one of these up, right? Uh, very neat. Okay, so let's get out of that. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do for right now. It's enough work for one lesson, but I think it's, it's important to understand the process here. Whenever we wanna to respond to something from Windows 8, we're gonna set up an event handler, and then we're going to, uh, in this particular case, uh, just create a flyout uh, in C-sharp where we can uh, add settings and things of that nature that they can change, and we're gonna do that in the next couple of lessons. All right, so we'll pick it back up in the next lesson. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.